My name is Jamal Murad. I'm the director of Minimally Invasive Gynecologic Surgery Fellowship Program in Phoenix, Arizona. As you can imagine, there are so many things going on in a typical everyday uh, clinical practice. You know, uh, being a fellowship program director, we wear so many hats and there are so many responsibilities. And it was very difficult to get our residents together and to get the faculty involved to be able to uh, provide the training that we needed to provide for our residents and surgical trainees. So I think the uh, program is uh, definitively comprehensive in the sense that we start with the very basic uh, instrumentations, uh, camera targeting, uh, and simple uh, basic skills uh, to the most advanced of laparoscopic skills, which is laparoscopic suturing. And uh, to take an intern from day one uh, to that last uh, you know, module where they're independently uh, performing surgical knots uh, eloquently, efficiently, uh, with uh, all the things that we want them to do is very rewarding. It's easy to see the difference between residents that have gone through the program and not gone through the program because they're just more comfortable with their movements. There's less collisions. There's a lot more efficiency of movement in the operating room. And that generally translates to better outcomes. Uh, you know, that respect for the tissue, the delicate motion, um, you know, transitioning from one step to the other of the operation is uh, much more seamless when they have already experienced uh, the, uh, the, the steps that they need to take prior to arriving to the operating room. So we see confidence in the residents that have gone through the, through the process. We see them able to uh, translate what they've learned in the lab to what they're performing in the operating room. Our residents uh, have had great reviews. In fact, they use it as a bragging point uh, to the incoming residents or the incoming medical students that are applying to our program. Uh, the ability to uh, have that program in our institution allows us to uh, perhaps, uh, or it sets us apart from other institutions, emphasizing the value that we have on simulation medicine and preparing our residents for what's to come. The uh, value and the importance of simulation training cannot be overemphasized. Now, if we can marry the concept of simulation and have a an objective, reproducible, safe manner in which we can do it, then it's the perfect combination. And I think, you know, SimSA really brings that all together. It's a platform by which we can allow all of our residents and fellows to come together and uh, have the practice skills that they need taken care of without having to jeopardize anything else.